stuff. What'd you get? A lot of things. <laughs> Huh? Don't forget that lotus thing. Yeah. Oh, I used to love doing these. These are so much fun. So after our $300 grocery bill, we decided to treat ourselves <laughs> to crepes. Yeah, we did so good. We deserved this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got a cheesecake with banana and chocolate, and Scott got tiramisu. His looks way better. You, you definitely picked better. There's a spoon there, babe, if you want a spoon. So excited. This was our Japanese haul, or H Mart haul, not just Japanese. So much good news. Let's get the rare sighting of Scott cleaning. Never happens. Ever. It makes me miserable. Okay. The ignore a messy background, probably, huh? Okay, first I have to show you the cutest shoes in the entire world. Look at these little baby dino sneakers. They're Converse, they're cute, they're for Arlo. And then we got these little shortsies for him. Tan, they're from Target, I'll link everything down below. This is navy blue, gray, and this is like a light blue. Kind of like a denim-y sort of look, but not really. You catching me cleaning in the background? No. Why are you cleaning the door? Who's that stuff on it? Oh. And then I um, bought some stuff from the Kite Baby sale that they had going on. So I got this matcha um, onesie. If you guys haven't checked out Kite, it's so good. It's pricey, but it's so freaking good. So I got it in 12 to 18 months. It's so thin, so lightweight. So I got the color matcha. I believe this is the color chrome. Again, that's another short sleeve baby top. Um, and then I got, I believe this is sea mist. I want to say this is a blue and then I got these rompers which Scott thinks rompers are for girls but it's fine yeah. I think it's gender neutral all right. so all right I'm gonna get a romper this how summer how cute is that how gender neutral look it is. just think of this with these little shoesies running around omg so cute and then this color is is very gender neutral <laughs> the, oh that was in matcha and then this is in papaya so get the snaps a little pocket I don't know I think it'll be cute even if he just wears them in New York um, but I think he'll, I think he'll eventually grow to love them. And then I've got a footed, um, onesie in the color, or in the, um, print fox. And they have the little, like, grippies at the bottom. But they're not, like, rubbery grippies. I don't know how to explain them. They're nice. This fabric is insanely soft. You can get it at Nordstrom. Um, but like I said, I took part in the tight baby sale. And then, Scott, do you want to talk about what we did today? Do I? Yeah. Put me on the spot, babe. Why are you cleaning right now? Um, so we went. We had an Asian excursion. What do you, where do you want me? You want me to just do this? Here. Here, do you want me to sit there? No. All right. Okay, you can sit there. All right. So today, Kelly and I went to... We dropped our little off at Grandma's, first of all. Yes, <clears throat> we dropped our little off at Grandma's mm -hmm. out in uh, Fort Worth. We live in Dallas, as you guys might know. And somewhere in between Fort Worth and Dallas is a little city called Carrollton. And in Carrollton, they have an awesome Asian market called H-Mart. H -Mart. Which and is it's... pretty popular. They have those around a lot of places. Yeah, so if you have one around you, go check it out. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Huge, huge produce section. Tons of fish and exotic foods that they don't sell at other markets. Uh, yeah. A lot of it, you, don't, you won't know what the heck it is. Yeah. It's got a Asian um, different varieties of... Which we're going to show you everything we got. Yeah. Which we got a ton of stuff. But so then we, before that, before we that, went and got crab and, and shrimp. shrimp. So like a... And clams. At the place called Kick and Crab. So good. Fries. Yeah, we did Cajun fries, glue corn. moons, corn, potatoes, a pound of shrimp, peel and eat shrimp, mm -hmm. but it has like this kicking garlic buttery goodness sauce, and then a pound of clams and a pound of snow crab. Yeah, it was bomb. It was delicious. And then and we, we ended up getting. We were gonna get foot massages. Well, we got bubble tea first. Oh, yeah. We got yeah. bubble tea. 
Sorry. No, you're good. So much fun, I forgot some of the stuff we did. We got the boba tea. <laughs> so we got boba tea, then went over to get a foot massage and ended up getting like this full body massage. And it was 90 minutes. Amazing price. For $60 each. So like with tip, it was like 150 bucks for yeah, like two a, 90 minute massages. A spa would have been like 200 a person. And they so. were like, it was like a they got in there. deep they did, tissue massage. Did my body good. Yeah. It was, I mean, it wasn't the most like fancy place in the world, but no, it was they, cool. They got in there, got it done. It was cool. It was awesome. And then we went to Tony Moly. So and I went ham sandwich. Like, like show them everything that I got. Got all these masks. These ones oh I've never God. tried before. The fresh to go. So I tried every single one of these and they were buy 10 get 10 free so i'll link these down below i haven't tried those ones but my favorite masks of all time are these ones the um i am whatever so i'm rice i am whatever 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 they're so good these were buy 10 get two free i want to say but i've been buying these forever they're like two or three dollars um and then scott got this kelly's been talking about my blackheads I've been talking about your blackheads. <laughs> so maybe I can zoom in and maybe you can see it. Don't, you're so weird. But anyways, uh, so it's like a three-step process. Yeah, we're gonna try it tonight on camera. And I don't know, so Kelly may have told you guys octopus is my favorite animal. I did not you tell You didn't tell that. everyone that? No, oh. weird. Why okay. would I not tell them So them? yeah, this one opens up the pores. This one gets the blackheads out and this one uh, closes the pores back up. So we'll see how it works. Yeah. So we got 20 of these and um, like 12 of the other ones. And then I got some snail ones. So if you don't know, like fermented snail goo is like a huge anti-aging thing in Japan or in Korea. So I got the timeless one, two timeless ones, and then a intense care one. This one's gold 24 karat snail hydrogel mask. Yeah, Kelly's gonna have a snail trail up but, all over her face. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, but they are like really, really affordable. Like each mask is like anywhere from, these ones were like two to three dollars and these ones are like three dollars. And then the snail ones were like eight dollars. And then we got this one for Scott as well. That's for Arlo, you can't open that. It's a letter for him. Wait for him? Well, yeah, I'm sure it address. <laughs> anyways, um, we got this taco pour bubble pour pack, which I believe is one of those like bubbling masks that you like put on. How cute is that? Like the packaging is adorable and it was like 15 bucks. Um, but it's one of those masks I think that you put on and it like bubbles up and gets all the impurities out of the thing. I don't know. I loved the lady who was helping us. She was just so sweet and she just Very wanted to be her about the product. She was. She um, and was then I got... What? I was gonna give her boss some, like I was gonna say oh my god that one is amazing. But... Oh, that's right They gave me a free one of these. This is the free one that I got remember because yeah, I only so much freaking stuff Okay, then I bought this which I have had before <laughs> it's a like a fresh it's a massage mask um, it's, cute. It. it's tomato everything in their packaging is so freaking adorable I'm obsessed um if you guys have been following me for a while, I did a Tony Milley haul back when I lived in Japan. But it's a tomato, yeah. like everything is just so, so cutesy good. and cute. Can eat it. Wow. Um, but it's a brightening mask because tomatoes brightening. I got one of these little like facial razors because I shave my unibrow with it and my beard. Thank God. <laughs> I got these pore strips. This is the egg one. I've had the egg before, but um, I've never tried these pore strips. So we're going to try those. I tried regular eggs, they didn't work as well. You know that used to be a real thing. People used to put egg like wash on their really? face and it tightens. You know, egg wash when it like dries, yeah. it gets tight. Anyways, um, and then I got these eye patches. I don't know what they're gonna do, but they're panda eye patches. So I wonder if they look like wanting to dress up as a pirate lately. I don't know why you're talking <laughs> off the camera. Then I got some samples, and then last but not least, they recommended this is like vitamin C. Oh, Inky Library. Oh, I don't know. Um, but anyway, this is niacinamide, which is really good for dark spots. So the lady who, it was her boss, who really didn't speak much English, but she's saying like she massaged just a little bit on it and like rubbed it into her dark spots. And she had already seen a difference in a month. And Asian skincare is very like all about brightening and getting rid of dark spots and stuff. And so I'm super excited to try this little baby. Again, everything's just really affordable from Tony Moly. So I'm excited to try this, but their sheet masks are by far my faves. So now we're gonna show you our grocery haul and then we'll get into our self-care, but probably in between there, we're gonna watch that show we've been watching. 
else I should have been watching. Tell me your secrets. Which ones? <laughs> okay, grocery haul time. <laughs> All right, let's start with Let's start with this. What the <laughs> hell did you get here, Kelly? It's a mango yogurt drink. It's a glass bottle. Um, there's 200 calories in this thing. It's me. literally just like water, milk. I don't know. It like show says the interesting part. Oh, it has a legit nipple. <laughs> <laughs> if it didn't have so much sugar, I would give it to Arlo. It has like 36 extra grams of sugar in it. It's like 200 calories. But it's actually a product of China. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's got a lot of bacteria in it. So it's supposed to be really like good for you, I guess. I just thought it was really cool. It's like a glass bottle and it stemmed off of the fact that I used to love these drinks so much. So we're gonna demonstrate one on camera for you. Hey, Winnie, what are you going through all the bags for? Which flavor do you wanna do? The mango or the lychee? Do you wanna try that? Isn't there another one? No, I got, oh yeah, mango lychee. Oh, you got this one. This Love one's that. the real deal. Yeah, this is the real it. one. I wanted the bougie ones. So they're carbonated beverages, but they have like a marble in it. So we're gonna show you how it goes. When you, it's like sealed with a marble. It's not sealed with a marble. The marble like activates, no, this isn't, yeah, this isn't. The marble activates the carbonation in the drink. So there's like these little notches here that like don't let the marble go into it. So. These are the tops that I'm used to though. Wait, do you just press it down? I think Normally so. Normally it comes with like a singer. Yeah, a cap. Mine didn't come with a cap. Yeah. What? Sure? Did, I put, did I take did it off? It? I just unleashed. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. So, pop this off. Why did I, why do I think this is so difficult? Okay, so anyways, you pop it off and it has like this little plastic top and you just bang it in and it releases the marble. Ah! <laughs> <Not on me. laughs> I'm not supposed to do that. You're gonna have to bleep that out, I curse. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so in theory, when you're little, can you give me another rag for my hands, please? Yeah. In theory, if you're little, right, you would think that the marble carbonates the beverage, but in reality, it just like activates the carbonation. It like breaks the seal. Yeah, so it's really guys, cool. Like, what's a, can you guys just believe that when it starts spraying, Kelly just puts it over me instead Wait, of... Wait, did I, is the battery already dead? Cool. Sorry, technical difficulties. So anyways, I just really enjoyed how Kelly just squirted that all over me. Squirted, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, they're just like full of sugar. They're like fun. I don't know. I used to get these all the time when I lived in Tampa because I lived next to an Asian grocery store in Tampa and I would walk there all the time. I forgot what it was called, but I would walk there all the time and I would always get these drinks. It's pretty good too. And one time I broke the bottle to get out the marble. It's not like the- Because I'm a rebel. Probably not the healthiest thing in the world. Oh, it's totally not. It's just probably sugar. fake flavors, but yeah. But they're fun. Good. Like when you're a kid, like, in Japan and like the bottle shape and everything is just so fun. I don't know, they're cool. So anyways, those were our first, those are our beverage purposes. purchases. Well, you some like of them. Push everything over there. We also got these little, oh, yeah. little baby sakis. Scott's already drank two of them, so like. Well, I'm on my second. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're just like little individual cups of sake instead yeah. of like having to get a whole bottle. Oh, then we got this one too. Yep, pretty neat. And then I also. It's been a while since I've had sake, and you guys know I'm a sushi guy, so. Well, yeah. I love that it. was the whole game plan tonight was to make sushi, but then we ate a huge lunch, and then we had crepes. What a great segue! So we got a bunch of sushi stuff too. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Well, we're not done with our drinks. Oh, okay. <laughs> so He's new here. our last drink. See, it does the battery thing again. Well, it's okay. So we're gonna die. No, that's not our last right. drink either. Really? No, I got green tea. Oh, uh, okay. You're trying to rush me. We got uh, Sapporo Black. My favorite Japanese beer is Asahi Black. But, seems like, oh. Battery exhausted. exhausted. Sorry if you can tell. Oh, Scott's gonna get himself more on the camera. Yeah, yeah. this isn't the Kelly show. So, sorry if you can tell about a change of camera. Uh, my camera apparently is battery exhausted. So, anyway, Scott was saying that his favorite beer 
Sephora Black. No. No, his favorite beer is a Sahi Black. Sahi Black, but I can't find that in the States anywhere these days. So you want Sephora I Black. I found this Sephora Black, so I'm gonna try it out. Okay. Cool. All right, you wanna start like loading stuff back there so we can start clearing out once we've talked about stuff. Sounds great, yeah. Um, And then I got this Unsweetened Green Tea because this one's my favorite brand. I see it all the time. I see it in a bottle, not in a can, but it's still super good. So, cause it's Japan's number one green tea. There you go. Um, I think that's all for our beverages. So now, do you wanna go into produce or do you wanna go into sauces, these stuffies? Whatever you want, babe. Um, let's just go into some randoms. Yeah, Kay. random stuff. So we got these, well, Scott, why don't you tell me because I have no idea what sure. they are. Are they like is... I have no Olympias. idea what Olympia is, but it's a little, it's a spring roll. So it has the wonton wrapper. Mm. So we're going to cook these in the air fryer. Yes, I think they're sitting gonna on right now. Freaking awesome and delicious. Yeah. Mm. yeah, naughty, naughty snacks. Speaking of which, another, oh, I guess you can go and show something that you've bought. Okay. We got this golden curry. This stuff is awesome. It's our favorite curry. Yeah. Some potato. Not like together, but like I used to love this curry and you love this curry. Yeah, you can use it with anything. Chicken, beef, shrimp. I like with pork. Pork even. I like pork or beef. And then, uh, you know, some vegetables, some onion, carrots. Make yeah. a really good stew and just serve it over rice. It's mm -hmm. so good. A lot of fat in there, but damn, it's good. Fat in? Oh yeah. That's uh, what keeps oh, it together. 4.5 grams. A lot of saturated fat. Oh. Anyways, it's like really, it's like comes in bricks and you just break it up and it's like a really hearty, it's a great like beef stew. If you like curry, you'll like it. Um, yeah. Kind of a different variation of like pot roast mm -hmm. sort of thing. We found um, a whole chicken for three dollars. Three ninety-two. Awesome. So yeah, we can smoke this. We can pan sear it, it. You know, Scott loves a good pan seared chicken. Have to get it. Um, and then I picked up this. These are seasoned fresh cucumbers. So these are like kimchi cucumbers. Scott got this magazine the other night about like food that's good for inflammation and gut health and stuff like that. So we got some cucumbers, some kimchi cucumbers, and these look so good over rice. Good night, so mm. good. We got, we found the lotus root. Yeah, which Looks I've never- Looks like a little potato, right? But no, yeah. we'll check it out. If you cut it open, and it's really starchy. It's yeah, like this on the so inside. Chill. So you can slice it up real thin and make little chips. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do in the air fryer. Yeah. So we used to make little curry salt chips at the restaurant. Mmm. Ooh, the really matcha good. salt would be good on it too. Mmm, maybe. Mm. Maybe not. But maybe. Anyways, my what are turn. These oranges? These are satsumo. Satsumo? Sats no. Sumatsu, I don't know, some sort of mandarin oranges that are supposed to be really good. They only they're grow special. in the winter. Um, they're not, I, don't, I can't think. I think they're set small. Don't want to see me juggle? Oh gosh, don't drop them. Ta da! Ta da! But, anyways, yeah, that's um, literally the best I've ever done. One, in my for, life. one for me, one for Arlo, and one for Scott. Um, you show something next. Okay, we got yuzu juice. Yuzu juice, it's a Japanese citrus. It's kind of like a lemon, but it's really tart. Mm -hmm. And um, it's very, very citrusy and tart, but it has a very unique flavor. So it's really good for making like ponzu or whatever, but I figured I'd get it. Yeah. Um, can make mix drinks with it, you can do a lot of stuff. So. Yeah, it's basically like a more tart lemon juice. But it's really good. I love yuzu. I very love yuzu unique. kosho, which is like a lemon pepper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is the yuzu kosho. It's like a paste. It's good. It's a cured pepper paste. And then I got this fun thing because I really wanted to try it. If you guys watch mukbangs on YouTube, I'm sure you've seen like where they're eating like hot ramen. And so I was like, ooh, I want to try for like a little naughty snack. It's only 230 calories. It's actually, oh, there's two servings per container. Holy crap, that's actually oh, wow. not that good. But anyways. You do that on a, on a leg day. Yeah, something. right? It's just a fun <laughs> little, I don't know, cheaty sort of thing, but it's a hot chicken flavored ramen in the stew type. Or maybe we can split it. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't want to split my nudes with you, man. Cool. Well, the first time you split your nudes with me. <laughs> 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 All right. Such a dork. So what else, what do you want to do? Um, I just noticed your, that we're both your favorite, <gasps> your favorite soy sauce. First of all, I just noticed that we're both wearing our matching gray sweaters. They're not she matching, but 
I did do it on purpose because Scott always tries to match me. But anyways, you guys, hey, this is my... Speaking of waffle cones, yeah. you didn't even tell them about our crepes. Yes, I did. And I filmed it. Oh, all right. Next. I did talk about our crepes. You just <laughs> didn't listen because we were probably talking about other things. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> anyways, this is my favorite soy sauce in the entire world. So many look like this, you guys, and our impersonators, but this is the extra fancy whole bean soy sauce. It's like got the maroon. Pay attention to the maroon. It's so freaking good, you guys. This is my favorite soy sauce in the entire world. I wasn't able to find it anywhere. She swears by it. I swear by it. It's the best. Very hard to find. We found this one on Amazon also. Which is really good. You should link it because I well, think this one is probably one of the best soy sauces I've ever had right yeah, in the bottle. Yeah, that you can like get really because good. I feel like soy sauces, you'll not, like if you don't know, you don't know. Like you just, if you've never tasted like bomb soy sauce and yeah. I know Kiko Men's gets like a bad rap, but this is like not your average Kiko Men's. This is well, like. For example, in comparison, That's this stuff Kiko tastes Mint. like salty water compared yeah. to this stuff. This it's has crazy. such a depth and an umami, like it is so Get yourself some good, good stuff. So. You know, treat yourself. For 10 treat bucks, it'll last you for a year. Treat yeah. yourself some good stuff. Go to the Asian stuff, market, you know seriously. That's something that you should pick up at an Asian market and it'll last you forever and it's super, super good. Um, another like basic staple that we have in the house often is furukake, which is like a rice seasoning. This has, this is the salmon one? Oh, uh, that's the bonito one. This is bonito, which is dried mackerel? Yep, dried mackerel, smoked dried mackerel. So it's smoky, shaped. it's a little crunchy, yeah. adds some good flavor to, to rice. It's got like a little bit of sweet, it's got sugar in it too, right? Yeah, yeah it has it a little bit of sugar in it. It's got soy sauce or um, seaweed. seaweed, sesame seeds. It's good for on rice, like as you can see with here. Um, when you make like rice bowls, like poke or whatever, this is good to like top it with. Yep. Even if you don't have fresh fish. Just sprinkle it on there. Yes, and we're gonna get to the fresh fish. You can get fresh fish at the Asian market for reasonably priced. Okay, you do something, Scott. I'm All right. Call him Skittle, Scott. Well, let's go to. Well, why don't we just do the meat that we got? Okay. Okay. So we got fish cake. This is fake crab is it stuff. Like imitation crab. This is totally imitation crab. This is um, pollock, I believed. Minced fish, Alaskan <laughs> pollock. But this is the same one that California we used it at, at one of the restaurants I used to work at, and it's a pretty decent flavor. Is it? Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's fish and wheat and different things, and yeah. it's totally yeah. fake crap, but we're, uh, we can't always afford that good, good stuff, so we gotta... I mean, gotta it's your basic California roll, so... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's your California roll. We got some salmon. Yeah. Um, we got a little pack of... It's like a sushi, sushi grade grade salmon. Yeah. Salmon. Looks pretty tasty. This is the belly it looks cut. Looks really good. Not bad. It was 15 we bucks. Get that in the fridge pretty yeah, soon. Yeah, why don't you put it in right now? Oh, Pop it in. There's no room for it. Yes, sir, it's right there. Skittle All Scott. Right. Oh, God. And then we got tuna sashimi as well. Scott says this was previously frozen. Oh, it's yeah, wild sure. caught, too, though. Yeah. Hmm. Product of Indonesia. Um, nine bucks for this chunk, though. Yeah, Not I'm sure bad what at they all. do is they take the frozen stuff, they take it and portion it out into these little cute boxes and sell it for yeah. a couple bucks more. But, um, you know, some places you can find some really good tuna. There's a place called TJ's in Dallas. That yeah. has, um, fresh bluefin that's really bomb. But this will be good for just making spicy tuna rolls and maybe yeah. a couple pieces of nigiri. Oh, is this supposed to be frozen? Um, it doesn't matter because we're oh. gonna eat it tomorrow. This Perfect. is called, it's unagi. This is freshwater eel, as opposed to anago, which is saltwater so eel. Anyways, it's uh, it's already, already pre seasoned. Ooh, yum. Yeah, it's pre seasoned. Ooh, it's, sauce is um, the best. They braise it, basically. This is a really tough meat. You gotta braise it for a while, and you braise it in a sauce. And uh, what we do is we cut it up, and we're gonna broil it, mm. make the skin nice and crispy. Yeah, mm. so like your, your basic eel rolls. I got this pollock row. There's a thing called onigiri that Kelly loves, and I'm gonna try making um, onigiri with pollock roe. Oh. You, you mix the roe with some uh, mayonnaise, and it's uh, it should be pretty good. And then we got some Wagyu, American Wagyu beef. So this is from the Snake River Farms. This is the bottom sirloin tri-tip. Um, this is pretty, pretty nice stuff, like as you can tell the marbling on it. So. I don't know if we've showed the um, little grill that we have. The grill? Yeah, which we can show, because if we do this tomorrow, we can we can film it tomorrow. Sure. Um, the little Bichotan grill, and it's from World Market, so I can link it for you guys, and it's a little really cool. But 
um, we're gonna grill this. So this is like, I mean, this is not a cheap cut. It's almost $32 a pound, but um, they had it all pre-portioned out in like a nice platter like you would go to and get at like um, Korean barbecue place. But Scott's just gonna cut this yeah. himself and we saved like $4 a pound, so. Yeah, so Snake River, they make good stuff. It's uh, American, they call it American Wagyu, which is pretty it's not much- real Wagyu. No, it's, ha it's half Wagyu, half Black Angus. So they cross them so they can survive in the US. Um, this is quality beef though. It looks they, insanely good. We use good. this, the same um, farm went up at uh, Wolfgang Puck's restaurant. Very cool. Um, so good stuff. So cool. Was excited to see it in the store. Yeah, we need to put these in the freezer ASAP. These are vegetable and pork gyoza dumplings. Gyoza is my life. I used to eat these all the time when I lived in Japan. I don't like them steamed and I don't like them in soup. I like them like pan seared because yeah. um, they get that crust at the bottom. So good. I've actually made homemade gyoza on my channel before if you wow. are a real throwbacker. I didn't know that. It's true. It's pretty hot. It's true. I want to see that. You don't. Maybe later. We All have right. no room. All right. Well, we'll find room later. Um, so some of the vegetables I got. Okra. We're going to do this on the little bincho tang grill. And we talked about the grill. I'm just going to give a brief overview. It's like a smokeless Japanese charcoal. So you can actually do it inside um, under the under the vent hood. So. It's such a cool, fresh, like, okra. date night sort of thing. Yeah. We actually had some friends over and did it. Um, I think I explained cool. it before in a vlog, but I didn't actually show it. Um, I'm get there and we'll cut that let's off. cut that one off. Um, we just got garlic, basic garlic. I just We just needed more garlic, so we picked that up. This is called Taiwate. It's radish sprouts. They, like, make them on this little pad. It's really cool. Oh, but, is that um, like what I made? Yeah. But you, not? Yeah, you can just snip it off of there and... Uh, Ooh. And I like to use it in like spicy tuna rolls and other sushi things. It's got it's like got, a peppery. It's a very zesty flavor, mm -hmm. yeah. Pepper, peppery zesty. Yeah. Ooh. These are shimeji mushrooms, also called beach mushrooms. These are bomb.com. Ooh, that's spicy. They sell them for like five or six bucks. At Central Market. At Central Market or Whole Foods, but $2, y'all. So I had to scoop up yeah. a pack. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Maybe, maybe like eggs in the morning, who knows. I feel Maybe like your frittata. Asian market, if you go for like your Asian products, you're gonna get a really great deal. And if you go for your other random things, like you try to buy like American cereal there and you're gonna spend like $7 on yeah. that box of American. That might be actually how much American cereal is. I have no idea. Scallions, okay. green onions, basic. basic. Shakes. <laughs> um, we got three onions, just because again, we needed onions. All right, we need to get through this other stuff pretty quickly because we've been talking for hours. Sure. Uh, what's this? It's fish sauce. Oh. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but you use it for different yeah. soups and stuff like that. It's, that's a flavor booster. It's, good it's disgusting in... by itself. Don't even try it. Don't yeah. even smell it. But it's... put a couple of drops in your soup. Mm. It's good in like if you make um like lettuce cups with like oh, yeah. uh, making the sauce for lettuce cups, like the meat and stuff. It's really good in it that. Gives it just a little bit of funk. Yeah, good fun. Funk. Yeah. That's a mushroom soy sauce just for cooking. It's a dark soy sauce. Mm -hmm. This stuff is nasty. Don't spill it on anything. So, I mean, nasty like is in it stains bad, but oh, yeah. good flavor. These used to be like one of my favorite snacks. Um, these are like a soy or like a rice cracker, um, and they have like a soy sauce glaze on them. These are so good. I would always get like a bag of these and a beer after a tough day of work and take my train ride home. I'm not an alcoholic, I swear. <laughs> I just they're just so good. They're salty I just get and crunchy. So stressed out. They're salty and crunchy and delicious. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat one while you do that. So these are kind of some of the Japanese cooking staples. Cooking sake, mirin, and rice vinegar. So you can make a lot of different things with this. Uh, we ran out, so. That's what we went, went for. Yeah, we went, we just wanted to buy these and uh, we ended up with all this other $300 stuff. $300 later. Mmm, so good. Okay. I can't eat it now. Why? Because your mouth is full and someone's gonna No, I always keep talking. Mm, 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 mm. So mm -hmm. good, right? Okay. Then I got some um, Korean spicy seaweed, so we're also gonna try this. You guys know, you know how much I love. I don't know if they can hear you over my seaweed. Crunchy. They can hear you. That's so good, right? 
They're like mm -hmm. the best crunchy, savory snack. It's like it's so a much more rice cracker. Yeah, it's so much more satisfying than like a potato chip. Mm -hmm. You have to work harder too to actually wow. eat them. I love them. You're not getting this one back. That's fine. You can have it. Um, I'm excited about the spicy Korean seaweed. Korean seaweed is actually my favorite because it's like got a, they almost like deep fry it. Not all of it, but it's so good. They actually invented the sea in Korea, so makes sense that it's the best seaweed. Mmm! Oh. <coughs> oh. That's spicy. What the hell? Oh. Can you grab my drink? Oh my God. Slowly. <laughs> oh. Let me take a sip first. Oh. Jesus. Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> in the world. It has three chilies on it. That was, um... I thought it was three out of five, but it's three out of three. What the hell? That was hot. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's so painful. <laughs> All right, the show's over. <laughs> good night, everybody. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh. That was hot. Oh, are you sweating? No, it took some milk. <laughs> I'm gonna keep eating. You're gonna need another one. Okay. Anyway, be warm. Oh my god. But you notice how the texture is so much different than like. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Whew! It's hot. Okay, and then last but not least, one of these fun things that I stuck out at the end because I just gotta be like, what in the hell? We're actually gonna do them tonight. We're gonna do them right now after finish. My mouth's on fire. <clears throat> Is that milk good? I mean, I haven't had regular cow milk in forever. Anyhow, um, oh my god. It's like, that's so hot. It's like not so hot, chicken hot. My lips are burning. I don't think you can touch my lips. <laughs> Stop. Well, it started off really good, and then um, nothing is curing that that heat right now. I need more. Anyways, they're these really fun, like do-it-yourself weird mold things. Think of like an easy bake oven, but you don't eat it. I mean, you could. So I got this one, which is like fruity dessert. Oh my God, I'm literally still on fire. <laughs> Do we have any more milk? Almond milk. And then this one's a dessert one, with like a fish cake and a mochi. And a, um, this is my favorite thing in the world. And I don't know what they are. Mochi balls covered in like a soy glaze. Is that better? Half and half. That was better. Okay. So we're gonna do these. Because they look really fun. Ugh. I'm on fire. Oh my God. Why don't you get those good? I didn't realize they were that hot. I know, that sucked. <laughs> Your face is beet red. <laughs> it's not going away. I don't know how people find enjoyment in that. I have like a giant pack now. Who am I giving you to? Go ahead, rub it in dry. Hey guys, I'm gonna rub it in dry. DHC cleansing oil. He's cleansing his face. So you're just gonna really massage it into the pores because oil massage. kills and oil. You have like a, a machine massager so I don't have to do this manually. I'm really tired. I do, but no, don't be a, don't be a bougie. Okay, fine. I'm going in with the pore. Gosh, this light is really unflattering. Taco. I tried Whoa. to turn the lights off because they were so unflattering. But yeah, okay. sorry, Scott. Okay, rub a rub. Now mix a little bit of um, water with it, more water. Ooh, this is very, very interesting textured. It's like... I don't know why you use an oil to de-oil your face. Because I told you oils break down oils. Oh, you told me that just now? 
Colin's just paying like attention. It's just like bubbly and weird. It's got like, it feels like little squishy uh -huh. balls in it. What's my contact? I think you're okay, Scott. All right, I'm okay. She's right. She's right, I'm okay, y'all. In case you don't know, it's kind of a drama king. Okay. Ooh, this is bubbling, oh my gosh. Oh wow, it is it? bubbling. Yeah, it's really weird. It feels funny. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I'm losing it. All right, what do I do next? Okay, hold on. Let me oh, get her I'll charge. Yeah. Yes. I can do this on my own, Kelly. You can, Scott. I'm an independent man. You are? Not Hashtag need no woman? I know. Face. Okay, so once you like put this on, you can't like mess around with it because it's like already starting to foam. Holy cow. Yeah. This is a, a 40 minute process. Yeah, well, you can sit down and do stuff. Oh, my face is growing. Mm -hmm. Look at That's it. weird. That's real weird. This like gets down deep into the pores and like breaks it up and stuff or something, I guess. I don't know okay. if you guys can tell how big it's grown. I'm going to take out my step one. Step one, which... Um, it's a, I think it's a sheet. They're Warm the nose with a... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before attach... Oh. Yes, after... Okay, so take step one, closely attach to the nose while aligning with the shape of your nose and remove after 15 minutes. I'm guessing. Okay, so this isn't a pore strip. The second one's a pore strip. I do this stuff. The thing out. Oh, okay. I don't know if this is big enough for my nose. Why did you say ow? Did I say ow? You said ow. Oh, I don't know. I don't think that's the right way. What? <laughs> is that not the right I way? I don't feel like it's the right it way. It aligns with the shape of my schnaz. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. I would think that the crowns go up. Okay. Okay, so this is so supposed to open up my pores. you let that go for 15 pores. minutes. Okay. So, I'm foaming. Can you see my face growing? That is so weird. Look how big my nose looks. <laughs> it's real weird. <laughs> I don't know. It looks weird. And then I'm going to go in with this one afterwards, which you leave on for 20 minutes? No, 20 to 30 minutes. So we're watching um, Tell Me Your Secrets. We're on like episode four, five, five. We're now on episode six. We just finished five. Holy guacamole, so y'all. So intense! So, okay, 10 out of 10, love that face mask. I was like, I'm about to murder somebody. You look like, um, that guy. You look like you're wearing someone else's skin. I know. You can't tell <laughs> anyone what they look like right now. <laughs> you look like Squidward. Tentacles. You're not even that funny. <laughs> We pull up my skin. Okay, I feel like <laughs> we're sliding. We're losing it. Jesus. <laughs> okay, I need to go lay down. Wet nose. And start with the tip. And now I'm gonna work it up. And then I'm gonna work it to the sides. Push in. Like that. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, there we go. You feel like you're on? I think so. Okay, cool. It's closely attached as directed. All right, I'll see you in 15 minutes. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, it's us. Let's see what comes out of these pores. Oh wait. What? Yeah, do it like this. The camera's here, not over there, Taryn. Okay, we'll, we'll see what comes out of here. I wanna see, I wanna see. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, it's, it's on there. Oh my God, so much came out. Ow. Holy crap. Really, is that all? Oh stuff? my God. That's like some nuts. Jeez. Let me see your nose. Wow. It's pretty clear. Wow. Mm, I don't know. Still looks like there's more black heads. Well, yeah, maybe not every black head comes out at once because it's not ready to. How long are you sitting that for? Ten minutes. All right. And then mm, I'm hungry. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm this 
little drawer. Okay, so when you're done with that, you'll need to put like skincare on. What? I thought this was skincare. No, that's just for your nose, crazy boy. All right, so I didn't wash off the mask and I just put lotion on and eye cream. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of oil, which I think I'm like out of. Oh yeah, I'm out of this. I can probably grab a couple drops from the bottom. Nice. Done. And then my Grande Lash Eyelash Serum. It's bedtime for this hydrated, moisturized, masked face. Good night. All right, this is one of those Asian oranges that we got yesterday yeah these were those good oranges i'm going to show you guys the right way to peel an orange okay so just pay close attention okay oh my god what is this okay 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 <laughs> all right it's crazy it just comes off like this so weird For your child. Is that a man on our orange? It's a person. Oh. Definitely a man. <laughs> it's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dork. You're such a child. <laughs> okay, what you doing? What you making? What's All going right. on? So today we're gonna make some sushi rabbits. Yeah, because we didn't make any last night because we watched our show, went to bed. Are you filming? Yes. Oh, still? Yes. Okay. So there's a few things that you need to make sushi rice. The sushi rice, it's a special short grain Japanese rice. And then you need rice seasoning. Okay, so this is a rice seasoning that I made with vinegar. Uh, it's rice vinegar, salt, sugar, and seed. Um, you can get them pre-seasoned or you can make your own really simple recipe. Where do you buy that? You can buy it at like an Asian market. You can I didn't buy the, see it yesterday. The, yeah, they have the seasoned rice vinegar. Oh, um, yeah. But it's really not that great if you ask me. So it's better to make your own. Um, a good ratio is like seven parts vinegar to four parts sugar to one part kosher salt. Um, that's the coarse kind. Don't use a different kind of salt or else it'll mess up the ratio. So 7 to 4 to 1 is a pretty good ratio. And then you put a little bit of seaweed at the end. It's really optional. Like you know dried I mean? seaweed? Yeah, it's kombu. It's, kombu, that's what uh, I thought. Like hard, right? Yeah, it's hard. It's thick. It has like a, really, a natural MSG, like a flavor booster in it. It's that um, mummy. But again, you know, that's, that's, that's optional if you're just doing some sushi rice at home. So the main thing is sugar, rice, um, sugar, salt. Sugar, water. Sugar, and rice. What? You said sugar, rice, water. Right, I'm sorry, sugar, salt, vinegar, and the seasoning, and you got rice. And then the most important part is to get your water ratio right with when you're cooking the rice, because sushi is all about the rice texture. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cook all of this. It's about, it's almost a quart, but that's not really that relevant. Well, it kind of is, but uh, so let's get a little bit more technical with the ratios here. So I'm just gonna do all this sushi rice. And it's, well there's no measurement on here, but it's appro approximately a quart, a little less than a quart. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is rinse this off really good. So this is a rice strainer, really small holes. Um, it's good for rinsing rice. It has some texture at the bottom. And then some slots right there for straining. Um, so cool. The other thing that you'll need, I have this. Uh, it's a hangiri. It's made out of wood. You don't need one of these. You can use like a glass uh, baking dish. Um, just anything that you can put the rice in and mix it with the vinegar after you cook it. Are those expensive? Uh, kinda. It can be. I think that one's like a hundred bucks or something. Got you. So. But you can get them on Amazon. Cool. Link below. I'll link it below. So we're just gonna rinse the rice really good. Cold water? Cold water. Uh, you wanna move it around a little bit. 
You really, or you're trying to get rid of the extra starches that's on the rice. So what does the starches do? Um, it just makes it to where it's like sticky. I mean, I know you want the rice to be sticky, but you don't want it to be like sticky with starches. You want it to be like sticky just naturally. So you wash the rice until it runs clear. This is a really high quality rice. The cheaper sushi rice that you get, the more you need to rinse it. But this is pre-washed, really good got it. quality rice. And you got this rice on Amazon, right? So I, I can did. link that down I below. Did. All right, so now what we're doing, getting all, as much water out as you can. Um, so strain all the water out. And then we're gonna... We have a pretty basic rice cooker. Yeah, Nothing you can get a cheap fancy. rice cooker for like 25 bucks on Amazon. We'll link you to a decent one. They range, I think this one was like 40 bucks or something like this. It cooks, makes a little bit more rice. Um, so don't waste any rice, try and get it all in there. It's rice ain't cheap. So, um, this is going in the rice cooker. You can also do this in a pot on the stove. Oh, shoot. If you really know what you're doing. Um, so it's a little bit wet, but it's not too wet, you know? Okay. So, this is where it gets pretty important is, um, and don't get the dirty sink in your mouth. I'm trying not to. <laughs> so. Our dishwasher is washing. <laughs> so you guys saw how it was almost to a the full top. Part. Yeah. We're gonna do almost to the top, plus a tad bit more water than rice. Okay. So most of the time you're cooking rice, you're doing like a two to one water to rice mixture. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be really close to a one to one, a tad bit more than the rice, maybe a pinky if you're doing a full quart. So then you pour it in there, make it nice and even, and then you're just gonna soak it for a half an hour. What, what does soaking it do? Soaking gets it ready to cook. It makes it cook more evenly so the rice has a nice, even texture. Hmm. If you don't soak it, it's gonna have a, a funky texture. It's gonna be more cooked on the outside than the inside. Interesting. All yeah. right, now So this will swell a little bit. It'll soak up a little bit of the water before it starts cooking. And then we'll cook. Sounds good. All right, y'all. Beer review time. Yeah, it's like we talked about our haul yesterday. So terrible. What do you mean? The lighting is just not bright and light and white. Hey y'all. Maybe, maybe from this angle. Yeah. Yeah. Hey y'all. Yeah. Better. All right. So we told you that we picked up this beer, the Sapporo Black, because I couldn't find Asahi Black in the store, which is my favorite. And I poured it up, and it's pretty damn good. Same style beer as Asahi Black. Um, He's a regular, you guys. And it's pretty darn tasty, it's pretty not gonna regular. lie. So, do recommend. It's a good black beer. Yeah, I'm not it's a dark like, beer bit fan. Yeah, but. it's not like a Guinness or like a really dark beer. It has a bright, crisp um, carbonation to it. Yeah. Um, just very malty. Pretty yeah, tasty. I'm more of a Asahi person over um, Sapporo, but fun fact, I went to the Sapporo Brewery. Yeah, I saw it from a building one time. But I did not. You no, know, you went time. to the Asahi Brewery. You saw the Asahi Brewery. Oh, the Sapporo yeah. Brewery is in Sapporo. Gotcha. Yeah, the Asahi Brewery, if you're looking at it on the skyline, it looks like a giant gold sperm. Or, it's crazy. Two, or a turd. A yeah. lot of people say that as well. Yeah. Um, either way. Either way. So you like the beer. And yep, then, I like it. So we're doing sushi in Yakitori tonight, which is on the Robota Grill, which we'll show you over there over there which this actually was a small one yeah this one um we got from world market so i can link it down below for you guys yeah it's like only like 25 bucks for yeah. this grill Super you can cool. get the charcoal on amazon mm -hmm. um you can use it inside if you got a good vent yeah we'll link another yakitori gonna, grill that might be a little better we're gonna do okra and this is stuff for sushi and yeah scott's mom's coming over and we're gonna have a little sushi fest for fun huh Hey, Winnie, what you doing? What you doing, girl? Come here. Oh, no, no hugs, no bets. Okay, bye. Oh, where'd it go? Now I'm in a whole new world. I thought he'd be you. shocked the fact that I'm filming him. It's not. A new world with you. Don't you dare close your eyes. All right, we're done. <laughs> I'm drinking this, which is like my favorite cold brew. I haven't had this in forever. Hi. Action.
section I meant to say not cut. <laughs> Welcome back. So we're just gonna start this rice. So you can see that the rice kind of fluffed up in there, absorbed some water. We are gonna cook it for, let's say 43 minutes. That's 43. 43 minutes. Magic uh, number. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, bye. Bye. Really quick, because I was trying to look for hard kombucha and I couldn't find it, but we did get some other stuff. So we got this berry and vanilla cereal for Arlo. Um, we got some Hawaiian coffee. Some, I guess I don't need to film my face. I can just film what I got. That's a little better. Uh, some raspberries because uh, Sprouts or Kroger didn't have any. And Arlo loves raspberries. I got my coffee, which I showed you. I got this new, well, and it's new to me, Crook and Make Marker um, spiked tea. They have lemon, peach, sweet tea, and raspberry tea, so it sounded yummy. Then I got a bunch of beverages. So I was going to look for, I don't know, some kombucha that I saw all over um, Instagram, but I got the Olipops, which I'm not really a like a beverage sort of person, but I don't know, this one has fiber. It's supposed to help with digestive whatever, and this is in vintage Coke. Got two of those. Got another highball or high brew coffee for Scott in Mexican vanilla, and then got in ginger lemon Olipop. And then this one just looked really cool. The Rowdy Mermaid kombucha in the flavor watermelon bloom. So, yeah, I don't know. It sounds pretty cool. So, little drink haul, little beverage haul. Cutting cucumbers. Yes. For what? For sushi. For sushi. Winky, are you sad Arlo's coming home? You could be the only child now. Darn, Miss Winky. I love you. But I'm so excited to see Arlo. So we're just munching on this fermented cucumber, which is so good. And Scott's gonna show you the rice. He rinsed all these green onions. So they're not gooey anymore. Yeah, kind of nice and mellower flavor. Yep. So with this Hungary, get it wet. That's just so the rice doesn't stick to it. Oh, I need a clean rag. So a wet, warm, clean rag is good because rice won't stick to it when it's wet. And when it's not wet, it'll stick a lot. So. All right, now we got hot rice. Hot, steamy. Should be cooked good. All right. So I just toss it like that to get it out of there. Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> and this little brown on there, perfectly fine. Is it? Yeah, it's just... Uh, oh, it's not like crispy. No. <sighs> if I can get this open with my wet hands. You're so strong. Ugh. Did you not. get it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Want me to help you? <laughs> I'm strong. You need some help. <laughs> Why don't you knock it with like the knife? There we go. Got it? I was All gonna right, say, did so, the sugar get on the rim and just like. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna use, this is about a quart of rice. So I usually use about a cup and just a little bit over a cup of rice seasoning per quart of rice. So I just, it seems like a lot and it's gonna seem really wet. But that's okay because it's hot and this stuff will soak in and here. dry up. I should probably go help your mom. Oh, my mom's here? Yeah. Well, this is like the most critical part. Okay. <laughs> so she can wait. Okay. So you gotta break it up really nice and uniform. Oh, some like that in there. A little black piece in there. I don't know what that is, but it's probably edible. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, we break this up. You need it a nice even coating on all of the rice. So any clumps need to come apart. And then you're just gonna work it around. You don't wanna mush it around because it makes it gooey. You wanna kinda cut through it in like light, light strokes. And you can do this with just a spatula if you don't have one of these rice paddles. But every rice cooker comes with a rice paddle too, yeah. so. Yeah, they're really cheap. So you should have one of these sitting around if you have a rice cooker. So what you do, you mix it up like that, toss it a couple times while it's still warm to get that vinegar nice and even. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna put it in a big lump on the side. Mm -hmm. 
and then let it sit for like 10 minutes while you're cleaning out your rice cooker and then come back and mix it again um because right now all the vinegar is going to go to the bottom mm -hmm. so you got to mix it one more time before you're ready to start ready. cooking yeah cool all right good so deal just cover it up with a moist rag while it sits there for a little bit okay i'll clean up all this rice off of my jeans <laughs> that are drying right here <laughs> all right awesome what you got here you got the wagyu tri-tip your grill wouldn't come this the, dirty <laughs> you cooked it quite a bit salt and pepper just and salt and pepper some That's nigi it. yep which is green onion yum so what did you do with the this is just you didn't put anything on it you just put togarashi on it it's grilled sea salt yakitori togarashi okay and that what was that again so this is a whole tate scallop mm -hmm. with lemon and green tea salt. Okay. Does not need any soy sauce. Fresh flavor. Soy sauce, huh? That was really good. What you munching on? What you munching on, seaweed? Sorry, I was holding out my finger. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Mm, this looks so good. Well, I hope it tastes good. I'm sure it will. So, that's what I've been doing. And that's only part of my job. I also work on the texture roll. Oh? There's a little mini roll. Yum. It's dark. That's, that's funny. I thought that was hysterical. So that's a rainbow roll. A rainbow roll is just a California roll that's yeah. got... Usually it has different kinds of fish on it. Oh, got you. Like... But we... Uh... But we can't afford all that. <laughs> so, you want a bite of this, Mom? No. Okay. As they ate them. Yeah, it's just like... It's very... I didn't like it at first.